Hey everybody, this is VBlue42 from avic411.com. We'll do another demo video here. Uh, this was going to be of the uh, Avic Feeds iPhone application that Pioneer recently released. Um, this is an application that allows you to basically search a POI uh, on your phone and upload the, uh, the results straight to the unit over Bluetooth. Uh, essentially what it does is it creates a new contact in the contact section of the, of the phone that uh, that will that will show up in your in your contacts on the unit uh, once you've uh, once you've uh, found that location uh, within the app. So uh, it works really well. Basically, when you when you turn the unit on the next time, um, it will upload the uh, the contact information and you will see the results in the contact app. I'm actually going to show you how to do that without having to turn the unit off and turn it back on. Um, I did this the other night in real time and it worked out real well. So. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my iPhone here. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to open up the Avic Feeds app. It's going to take about 10 or 15 seconds for it to do its little thing here. Okay, hit this little button right here, it will zero your location, just like the uh, Google Maps app will. Okay. Now I'm under a cover, so unfortunately it, it won't it won't zoom in any more than that. I can go ahead and double tap or pinch and get a little bit more expanded view. Okay. Now, if you're if you're getting good signal, it should go ahead and zoom to a, to a reasonable level. Like I said, I'm under a cover, so all right, that's good enough. Um, as you can see, it, it works through the Google Maps um, application. Uh, this is your search bar up here. This is how you're going to find what you're looking for. I'm going to show you a few other things of the app. Photo section. Now, this is really cool. This allows you to uh, take a geotag photo and basically uh, create a POI out of it. Um, it. It does work fairly well. The only, the only problem with it is it only reads photos in your, in your camera roll, which is unfortunate because, you know, if you're, if you're thinking about, a, about a, you know, an old school camera that actually has film, if any of us remember those, um, you know, once the film is processed, it's no longer in your camera roll, it becomes part of your photo album. And just like, um, you know the iPhone when you plug it into your to your photo application. In my case, I'm on a Mac, so it's iPhoto. It transfers the photos to your photo album and prompts you to delete the photos from your camera roll, which I always do. They're useless, uh, or they're not used. They're not utilized in the camera roll if they're in the photo album. So, unfortunately, it does seem like a bug in the application or just a design flaw. Uh, I have addressed it, uh, and hopefully, it will be looked into and uh, and fixed uh, sometime pretty soon. Uh, maybe we'll get an update. There's a little camera icon that accesses the camera application straight from the phone, so that's neat. Okay. Your list section is where all of your saved POIs are going to be, and I'm going to show you that here in just a second. Okay. If I go back to the photo section, this is a picture I took a minute ago for demonstration purposes. Okay. And basically, you just select the picture and hit save, and it puts it in your list. All right. It is now a POI, and I'll show you that here in just a second. All right, I'm going to go back to the map. Let's see. We're going to search for a Best Buy. If I can touch it right here. There we go. All right. It's a little difficult trying to touch this the right way and hold this camera, so... All right, so here's a couple of the Best Buy locations. This one right here is actually the one I'm looking for, so I'm going to hit the little pin. If I can 
touch it, right? These really aren't that difficult to touch. It's just the this is user error. All right, there we go. Hey, third time of the charm, I think. All right, so it's going to come up with the information here across the screen. Get the little arrow to the side. And this is where it allows you to save it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, we're done. Now if we go to list. Okay, there's the POIs. There's the Best Buy and the picture. Okay, now at this point we're done with the application. We can do some editing if we want, and I'll show you that here real quick. Not really that big a deal. All right, you can delete it, edit the location, edit the information. If I want to put a phone number in, I can. We'll do that for. Do the whole five 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 thing. All right. Okay, so we're done with the application. I'm gonna close out of it. And I just want to show you in the contacts section of the iPhone. Okay, it is now. There's the picture. Okay. And there's the Best Buy. So, all right, we'll close out of that now. Now we're gonna to go to the unit. Now here's where I'm gonna show you how to upload it straight to the unit without having to turn it off and turn it back on. Okay, and it, this is this is actually a fairly useful feature. Okay, I'm gonna to go to contacts. All right, now I'm going to show you how it's not in there yet. Okay, so this is the section you get. You get A, B. Okay, and you should see the Best Buy is not in there. Okay. All right. We'll go back. Hit contacts again. All right, now right here we're going to hit Contact Transfer. Okay, and it's going to say Send Business Card by by operating a mobile phone. We're just going to cancel that. And here in a few seconds, you'll see the information resync and pop back up. Here it comes. There we go. Now if I hit contacts, well, what do you know? There's the picture, and as you can see, the icon is a different color. It's actually hot pink. I don't know why they chose hot pink. Okay, if I select the picture, there's the location that I took the picture from. Okay. And here's the Best Buy. Okay. So I'm going to hit OK. And here's where you get your multiple routes, options, profiles, waypoints, all that. I've showed all that to you before in the previous video. So I'm just going to hit OK. And we're going to plot the route. And there you go. We can now go to the Best Buy. So yeah, this is a, a really cool application. It is a very nice touch to this unit. Um, so uh, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with this. So. Alright guys, thanks for viewing, and uh, I'll see you on the next video.